also do a halo just covered in this. Now it's going to look a little bit like Caesar Augustus yeah. but if you don't treat it properly from that point on because it's so flat it won't look as good as starting with an ivy base like this and then securing it. And once you've started this, are you about with this over there? Yeah. Mr. Taylor is going to show you what the finished product can look like. And it's all glued in. That one you can see is glued right to the back. Everyone see? It's just two pieces. Yeah, two pieces secured. Be sure and keep that extra leaf by you though, so that as you're pushing it down, you see now it's starting to set up. That's going to stay and it's you can continue to circle that right around if it's going to be for the head or if it's going to sit on the shoulder that's a great base to start with now it's hard to secure to this Vic, to get very much depth so i would suggest that you glue either some ming or something like that into it that you can really start to glue ming is one of the best products to glue into a piece of ming if you wanted, you could run a Chanel stem right up through the leaf and secure it down. So it's not going anywhere. Now this is on the shoulder, on top of the This is a, that's called an epaulet. It's like what used to be on the, mm -hmm. sh the soldier's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Say that three times fast. <laughs> but the shoulders. Soldier's, soldier's shoulder epaulet was right. like braiding that hung off the side mm -hmm. right there and that's where this sort of originated. It was really popular several years ago and it's kind of coming back with the body jewelry just because it is a little bit unusual and different. Again, I would suggest that you probably take that other leaf and glue right on there to cover so where you secured that is not going to stick their dress at all. So it's all covered. So if you're doing it for the skin, would you attach band-aids to it? If you're going to do it for the skin, I'll show you one of the best. Just hot glue it right under the skin. That's right. <laughs> you glue, baby. You glue. That's <laughs> cute. That's a I have an employee who wanted to go up to Halloween as a fairy. Have time to get the right equipment like spirit gum, like they put beards on and theatrics. Mm -hmm. So we decided to glue some silk flowers to her face with ML glue. Okay. And it only hurt for a few moments okay. while I pressed them on. Okay. You know those flowers stay on her face all the time. Wow. I didn't think they would, but they did. Wow. I made this corsage for Nicole at um, Arkansas. Arkansas. Arkansas State any dress you're wearing and, and I would probably have charged 60 or 70 dollars for it. Something it had like maybe two or three orchid blooms in there, dendrobium <laughs> orchids and a couple of pieces of foliage. Secured the bottom with you glue and oasis to a band-aid and band-aid it to the shoulder so that it can't move because a lot of dresses are strapless right now. So awesome. you take a U-glue dot on the Band-Aid, and just for extra security, I put a little dab of, of the Oasis glue, secured the bow and the rhinestones to the Band-Aid. So when you tape, when you get ready to put it on, pull the pieces of the wow. Band-Aid, Band-Aid it right That's to the good. skin, and it's not going anywhere all night long. And everyone came up all night it's long, awesome. just like, oh my it. gosh. I wore a simple, like, silver dress, yeah. This stood out. I bet. Amazing. And it lasts for days, too. I love it. Wow. At least two or three days. Yeah. But just make sure your mechanics in that, gluing it together. And, and very lightweight, you know, but then with all the movement. You can get it at um, the craft store, uh, Joann's. They sell it by the yard. I actually brought mine back from China. <laughs> So it was really expensive. I buy it by the yard all the time from the grocery store. Yeah. I sold it by the yard.